What's up, internets, interwebs, and everybody online? Uh, back in 2014, Google released $20 Google Cardboard. Uh, did very well and, and was all everywhere. So two years later, entered a Daydream View VR, considered their next evolution, their next step into what their vision of entry-level virtual reality is supposed to look like. And after playing with it for a while, I think we can definitely tell you where their $79 VR headset fares out in a 2016 VR world. To answer everyone's question, yes, it is as comfortable as it looks. The straps are super easy to adjust even while wearing it. Keep in mind you have to tighten it a bit to avoid any light leaks while using it. As far as the actual viewer itself, the build is plastic with rubber where it meets your face and a breathable plastic. So it's like they teamed up with Adidas and put an ultra boost on your face. It's really comfortable. The controller is a nice touch in regards to VR navigation. So instead of touching the headset, the controller acts as a laser pointer to know what you're about to select. And you can always recenter yourself at any time while using the controller instead of having to move. Uh, it's not that many buttons on it. You have a navigation, which doubles as a touchpad in certain areas, menu, home, and volume rocker. So what is there exactly to see on Daydream View? Uh, during our time, we had eight different apps to choose from. We had Wall Street Journal VR, YouTube VR, Google Street View, which pretty much puts you in, virtually puts you in street views at different locations. Google Arts and Culture VR, which allow you to virtually visit museums, gallery. Star Chart VR, Star, Star Constellation in Space. Wonderglade, a variety of mini games. Hunter's Gate, an adventure game. And Mechorama, a VR, VR puzzle game. My favorites were definitely YouTube VR and Mechorama VR. Thanks to Google Cardboard, which came out two years ago, there's tons of VR content to check out on YouTube, from a VR roller coaster to Star Wars experience to even uh, Google's uh, ex Cardboard experience videos like Help and other different things. Uh, the Mechorama VR is definitely an interesting way that takes full advantage of the controller, the head track in the VR, and then just it's kind of fun if, if you're into puzzle games. I am, so I thought this was pretty cool. So we give the Daydream View VR an A+. There's nothing really wrong with it. Uh, it checks all the boxes as far as being comfortable, affordable, and having pretty much everything you'd want to do in regards to VR. Um, there's a decent amount of content available right now, so, you know, and it's only the beginning. So if you have a Pixel or Pixel XL, you should definitely pick one up if you haven't already. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We appreciate you for doing so, and take care.